bubbles. Oh, dark bubbles. Wow, you really changed it up there. Silence! You cannot stop me and my hideous henchmen. Oh, come on! All right, Bubbles. Let's get you home. Let go of me! Good job, Dark Bubbles. Now, destroy your sisters! Bubbles, what are you doing? This isn't you. This is me. You made me this. You're the best sister in the world! Remember when I wiped out on my skateboard and you took care of me? Or when I had spinach in my teeth and everyone made fun of me, so you put spinach in your teeth too? No, no! Don't listen to them! Drop the hippo! Now! Bubbles, you're a good person! You're like the most caring person in the world, Bubs! Hey, hey, Dark Bubbles, don't listen to them! This is your destiny! No, it's not! Yes, it is! You are evil now! No, you're not! Yes, you are! Don't! No! Yes, do it, do it! Silence! I have made my choice! You see? She has come to her senses! <gasps> Curses! My beasties! You are released! <laughs> You're going to pay for this. Me? It was your idea. Oh, yeah. And that's why I'm gonna let you go this one time. Because I got a good team here. And when we get mad, we aren't very cute. Oh, okay, Mojo is on his way. Come on, girl. I'm sorry, guys. I had no idea I'd let my identity become so defined by being cute. Yeah, talk about limiting yourself. Under the surface, you're like, terrifying. So much better than being cute. Yep, I think we all learned a lot today. Not you again. You know it. I'm back in the photo game after that salon got a restraining order against me. Hey, can I get a shot for the Townsville Daily? Yes, yes you can. Okay, everyone say, break me off a slice of that funk pie. You really want to hang that one up? Yeah, I look so happy. Plus, I'm with my favorite people in the whole wide world. Wow, you really learned a lot from all this, Bubbles. Yep, most importantly, that I'll never be as ugly as Mojo. Um... Mine's still better. Well, there's always next year, Elliot. <clears throat> Hi, Professor Lawrence. Please, call me Janet. Wow, I mean, okay. Janet works with ETIS here at the base. It stands for the Extraterrestrial Information Search. You mean aliens? Exactly. So, Janet, I was hoping to get a look at the data on your current research project. It's classified. Recently, we've had some complications. Complications? Hopefully, it's nothing to worry about. So, Janet, uh, do you think I uh, have the right stuff uh, to be an astronaut? Being an astronaut takes a lot of work. I know I could never do it. I'm afraid of heights. Wow. Oh. Over here. What, what is that? Oh, oh no! The alien! What was that thing? That was the complication. <laughs> I warned you this could happen. Well, from now on, we're not taking any chances. We've already locked down the base. No one is permitted to leave. What about the shuttle flight? I'm sorry, Janet, but until we find that... whatever it was, the launch is cancelled. Professor Lawrence, could that really have been an alien? Anything is possible, Velma. Last month, I sent a probe to collect comet debris, and it picked up something very unusual. It looked like an egg, possibly an alien egg. Earlier this evening, I was about to run a preliminary scan of it, but then the egg hatched. I tried to warn everyone that there might be an alien on the loose, but no one would believe me. That must have been one big egg. The alien is four feet tall. That's just the thing. The egg wasn't very large at all. Lucky us. It's going through an alien growth spurt. Don't worry, Janet. We're going to get to the bottom of this. You guys go on ahead, but please, be careful. First thing we should do is check out the lab. 
Uh-uh. Scoob and I are staying right here. Yeah. Right here? Where we just saw the alien? Suit yourself. Why does she always do that? Like, wait for us! <laughs> says the material is definitely organic. Whatever it is, it sure is gooey. Not exactly a scientific term. Oh, but you're right. And there's water in the bottom of the egg case. Maybe that's because someone left this faucet on. Hmm, I wonder if that had any effect on the egg. <laughs> it's the alien! <laughs> <laughs> Just followers, your marvelous idols have some requests. Bring us a non-fat almond milk skinny double chai latte. Why, thank you. Totally hot, Mick. <clears throat> we desire all of Townsville's diamonds, even the tiny ones. Well, diamonds are a girl's best friend, and with their new Powerpuff Girl bodyguard, they're unstoppable. Awesome! What? That reversible turncoat! I can't believe she went back and put on her smoji! What? Awesome put on a smoji after I specifically told her not to? <laughs> Girls, get in the car! We're going to get your sister! Uh, are you sure you don't want us to fly? No. There are some things a dad just has to do. <laughs> Stay in the car, girls. Don't worry, Professor. We're right behind. Car! Excuse me. Make way. I have to speak with my daughter. Awesome! Who's that tacky milkman? <laughs> Look here. Don't give me that blank stare, young lady. I have specifically asked you to take that smoochie off two times now. Oh, I'm very disappointed in you. Uh-oh. He's giving her the finger whack disappointed stare combo. She's doomed! As long as you live under my roof, you have to follow my rules. Oh, this is getting old fast. Blossom, shoo this milkman away, will you? And furthermore, <laughs> Blossom! Professor! Are you sure you don't want us to... Stay in the car. We can take her on. Stay in the car. Professor! Car! All right, I've had just about enough of- Ah, give it a rest! You! You're the bad influence on my daughters! Oh, man! He's going full dad! Stop manipulating my daughter! Stay back, you outdated poser! Ah! He's got our selfie scepter! Fashion police. Looks like you're out of glamour. And into the slammer. Ah! <coughs> hmm. Okay, finished. I pulled out all the weeds, cleaned the gutters, and washed the car. Can we get out of the car now? No. Because we're going out for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Isn't this just honky dory? Absolutely no worries. I hope you'll all remember what a fun time we had here come election day. Mm -hmm. Now let's all try and enjoy them. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Peace out, dude. <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. Thanks. All right, gang, this is it. When the going gets tough, what do we do? Bury our heads in the sand?
<laughs> you wasted the weaky tiki. You were like totally radical, Scoob. Yeah! Up. Blossom, what did you get us into? Morbox is the worst. She's always been the worst, and she'll always be the worst. I disagree. With a little work, I'm sure I could teach her to be a good person. Six hours later. This is the worst crook, Madame Sandwich, ever! Ugh, she'll never be a good person. Bloss, give it a rest already. You've been trying to train her for six hours. Okay, let's do this one more time. Let's say it's Bubbles' birthday. It is? Ugh, again, Bubbles, it's not your actual birthday. We're just pretending. Aw. Now, take this gift. No, 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 no! Take the present and give it to Bubbles. Wait, what was that word? Give? You know, give, like how I just gave that present to you. Oh, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, forget it! I don't even know why I tried! You're so selfish! Ugh. I'll be in my room. Poor people are so sensitive. Oh, that more book, she's just so selfish. Uh, hey, Blossom, what are you working on? Not that you care, but I'm just working out a few kinks to my business plan for a lemonade stand. Ooh, let me see. Hey! Oh, here's your problem. You're spending money all wrong. Pen me. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And there. Princess, this business plan is brilliant. You gotta get money to get money. You just did me a favor. But Ava? Something nice for someone beside yourself. I did? Yeah, I guess I did. How do you feel? Poor, but good? Like I want to keep doing favors and good giving. <gasps> Is this normal? Do I need to see a doctor? No, you're becoming nice. realized how nice it is to be good. And it's good to be nice. And thanks to your help, this is booming. Your secret ingredient is what keeps them coming back. Thanks. I spent all last summer developing it. Hopefully one day I can patent it and make a really successful company. And I could use a co-CEO. <laughs> oh. This is weird, right? It's weird. It's like Blossom found the last shred of decency in Morbucks' cold, dead heart and brought it out of her. Now she's got a... Please, how did you... Track on the mystery machine. Isn't this cozy? Us? Alone? No one to watch over you? Or your piece of the disc? Why do you want the disc so bad? They lead to a treasure beyond calculation, dear Scooby. A treasure many have died trying to find. We're not scared of you. Yes, we are. Ow! Children, there's nothing to fear. Roll you! Peace! Mine! Ah, oh, oh. He's got the piece! Stop him! Time to do some trapping old school style.
Freeze, Franco! Fred, you're all right. What have you kids done now? First, I get a hysterical call from the Rogers saying Scooby and Shaggy jumped out the window during Still Life Night, and then other parents start phoning saying that their kids have disappeared. And then Angel calls me all frantic about... Who is this guy? I'll tell you who he is, Sheriff. The freak of Crystal Cove is my father. Mayor. It's not! You mean there's no drill? Oh, no, there's still a drill. But it couldn't possibly go to the center of the Earth. Oh. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Nah, 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 nah. Down came the rain and then they found a trout. Right, Bloss? <laughs> See, Bloss gets it. Buttercup, Bubbles, you're next. All right, here comes the pain. See you on the other side, sis. <laughs> Ready for you. <laughs> okay, boss, you can do this. People go to the dentist all the time, and they survive, I think. <laughs> well, Dr. Martin, that should do it. Shouldn't have any more problems with those flickering lights. Excellent. Thank you, Darla. <laughs> I gotta get out of here! Huh? Hmm. Hey, girls. How was the dentist? Looks like they gave you some great toys. Yeah, I guess. No cavities, though. <sighs> the dentist told me my teeth were so nice that they wanted to use a picture of them for the new logo. Well, that's fantastic. Say, where's Blossom? Over here. By the door. <laughs> finished super fast, so I thought that I'd wait outside and get some fresh air. What about your tooth? Does it feel better? Yep, they said it was just from having such a healthy mouth. Health pains. Yay! Perfect. Then to celebrate, I'm taking you girls out for your favorite. Crunchy caramel corn ice cream with extra peanut brittle. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Where's your toy? Didn't the dentist give you one? Oh, um, he tried. I told him he should just keep it for himself for once. Blossom? Turning down a reward for good work? Something smells fishy to me. Hmm, me too. The boss, the salmon-flavored ice cream just ain't selling! That's because you're not pushing it hard enough, Greg! Hmm. Uh, oh. What's the matter, Bloss? Tooth hurting? Might need to go back to the dentist? No! I'm just eating up my... Um, paste. Cool, cool, cool. Then why don't you take a big bite? <laughs> Man, am I glad to see you guys. Join us. What are you doing? It's us, Shaggy and Scooby, and your <laughs> hideous, sinister zombies. But, like, that's okay. <laughs> Friends don't judge. <laughs> I could see you in 10 or 12 times a day. I think it's best we do it your therapist way. I go my hair long and wear big coats, yeah. I get so lovesick, my sad thoughts float the time. You got me running. News broke today, so we're not talking. I think it's best we do a little bit of stopping. I want a house on a beach and you with my dreams and it works.
Price that's short on powder rooms, it sure is long on plumbing. Well, Scoob, looks like we're being hunted down by our best friends in the whole world. Guess we need to do something besides the old standbys, quivering and whimpering. <laughs> lock. Now, what would Daphne do? She'd trick the lock. Good thing I always carry my portable pocket lunch utensils. Fred would have been proud. Well, hello. What's this gizmo? If I were Velma, I'd try to figure it out. Hmm. Let's see. It works. But what does it do? Girls, there was no ham. Yes, it is true. Mojo Jojo is not ham, but Mojo Jojo is ham so And Mojo is here to destroy. Mojo? Bliss? Wait, wait, wait. You guys know each other? Oh, is Mojo our sister too? Oh, ho, 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 ho. You girls forget that Mojo used to be the professor's lab assistant. You see, the professor made the perfect little girl. Ugh, heard it. Oh, okay, okay. Bliss was Mojo's best friend. Oh, I want cereal. Aw, there's no milk. I want milk! Mojo was sad to see Bliss fly bye-bye. And now Mojo finds his best friend here with his most accursed enemies? Enemies? Yes, join your best friend forever, forever! No! <laughs> Oops. Ahem. <clears throat> it's the other lover. Oh, <laughs> so silly. Yeah, I get that wrong all the time. <laughs> no! <laughs> now come to me, Bliss. Bliss, we're family. We're here for you. Bliss, I can help you. Oh, oh no! My powers are too dangerous. <laughs> We were friends. Did those patty cakes mean nothing? <sighs> Mojo is too sad to fight today. Now, if you'll just validate Mojo's parking, he will be on his way. Dude, we don't have a valet. Who'd you give your car to? <gasps> My minivan! <laughs> I can't believe we lost our sister. I'm so sorry, Professor. Wait, where's the professor? The kitchen! <laughs> <gasps> Bliss? Oh, hi, guys. You're still here. Yes, we talked it over, and she's decided to stay. Yeah, I just thought that maybe I'd give this family thing a try. And maybe together, we can figure out how to control my powers. I mean, if you don't mind having a big sister. Yay! Uh... <laughs> my bad.
you're on the very first mission, right? That's so cool. You probably have a huge following on the internet. Have your own blog? But it wasn't around back then. Heck, I don't think there were even computers back then. <laughs> ah, we should have left them in the ice. I still can't feel my fingers. Ew, what's that? Condensation, probably from the air vents. Looks like alien juice to me. And you've seen alien juice before? No, not exactly. But if I were to take a guess at what it looked like, I would say it would look a lot like that. Could this day get any worse? <laughs> what the blazes is going on? Alien! Big! <laughs> Chasing us! It hates food and likes melting brains! Maybe it's lost. Or maybe it doesn't exist. Wait, where did you see an alien? Dude, restaurant! And you left before you were done eating? Uh-huh. Shaggy and Scooby would never leave food behind. Something was in that restaurant. And that's the truth! So help me, hot dogs. Okay, let's go take a look. Oh, sure, why not? I could use a good laugh. That's not funny. Look at this. It's lucky no one's hurt. Tell that to the poor Springles! Or to anybody replaced by an alien imposter, because they do that. Better the food than the ship. Watch your mouth, Hollywood. Shaggy is very sensitive when it comes to food. Well, it could have been worse. Exactly. Good point, Daphne. Yes, Daphne, well done. It's lucky we have a space expert like you here. What's that about? I have an idea. Talk to the chef Slybot. He didn't say anything. Maybe because he's scared. Or maybe because Slybots can't talk. Uh, right. So we have two witnesses. Right, who are eating raw fish off the floor. Come on, Zip, this is a joke. There's no alien and we've got work to do. <laughs> She's got a toothbrush! <gasps> no! here to brush my teeth. Throw her in the dungeon! dungeon! What? Seize her! Psst, Blossom. Dr. Martin, the dentist? We're hiding in the sewer. Hurry. Okay. Welcome to the Resistance. We're a ragtag group of revolutionaries and dentists saving the world from cavities and the giant spoon. We are the Tooth Troopers. It's only been a day. Where'd you get all these uniforms? Tooth helmets, get your tooth helmets here. Five dollars for a molar, ten for a bicuspid. Buttercup, I thought you were making cloaks for the spoons. Business, baby. Mama's got a wetter beak. I found all these helmets in the dumpster. <sighs> Attention! Listen up, Tooth Troopers. The Spoon Lord must be stopped. Tonight, we launch a toothpedo directly at the spoon. Destroying it and creating a giant ten-block cavity. What? No! Let me go in. I'm sure I can get rid of the spoon without blowing everything up. I mean, after all, isn't the oath of a dentist to do no harm? Actually, that's doctors. For dentists, it's... Just go out there and have fun. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, Blossom. We'll give you a few hours. But if you don't succeed, we'll be forced to attack. And Blossom, here's a lollipop for not having any cavities. Yay! Don't worry, Dr. Martin the Dentist. There's no way I'm gonna get caught. We caught her! Spoon! 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 Well, 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 well. Bubbles, you don't have to! Well, well, well. Bubbles, can you just stop it? Well, well... You're crazy! Silence! I'm not crazy! You tried to brush my teeth, which is forbidden by the almighty spoon! We shall punish you in the way the giant spoon has punished people for centuries! Ugh, the spoon has only been here since yesterday. You shall be burned at the spoon! Uh, does anyone have a match? This is a spoon. Ah! Don't worry, Blossom. Tooth Troopers, remember your oath. Just go out there and have fun. Oh, the Tooth 
Stormtroopers, protect the giant spoon! Oh, hail the giant spoon! Where did they get all these laser weapons? <laughs> Can you believe what people just leave in the dumpster? I say, it's full of nonsense, like the chest of demons can only be opened by the living. That's true? Of course it's true, because the dead don't open things. They don't do anything. They're dead. <sighs> Anything about the 13th ghost? Well, according to what you've told me, the one that got away is Asmodeus, king of demons, the most powerful of all evil spirits. <laughs> oh, man. Like we should have gotten rid of that crystal ball when we had the chance. <laughs> oh, it's just an old story. What the... There's no such thing as ghosts. Do you think we were born cowards? <laughs> Sister, the reason we're always on edge around ghouls and goblins, even fake ones, is that we've seen and fought 12 of the real thing. <laughs> Hang on, gang. What's going on? What's happening? I thought someone was tailing us, but I guess I... A smoke screen? Phew. Turn back there, Gap. Maybe it should slow it down. You know, safety. <laughs> Coding club, then what? My pigtailed sister, pray tell, are you working on that allows you to laugh so? This? Aha! That's not a computer! Case closed! You are so busted! Professor! Actually, I am a computer, Booter Cup. What the what? Meet Daisy. It's a room to room digital assistant. It'll help you do stuff around the house, like change a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 thanks, Daisy. 
Daisy's the first one of its kind. And he's in every room in the house. Every room? Ha-ha! Oh, you're still in trouble. You didn't even ask the professor or Blossom about this. How do you know they're gonna... Love it! Bubbles Daisy is unbelievable. He's already made dinner. Tidied the whole house. And programmed my Broomba to vacuum even more efficiently. <gasps> Who's a good Broomba? <gasps> Who? Yeesh. Plus, he set up the DVR based on my viewing preferences. I can finally catch up on old episodes of Science Fell. Yeah, he's a scheduling wizard. But schedule on is the scheduling wizard. Daisy is the best device ever. Time to panic, time to panic, time to panic. I'm glad you like Daisy. The only thing we still have been programmed is taking out the trash. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Schedule bot will do it, schedule bot will do it, schedule bot will do it. Schedule bot is useful! Schedule bot is useful! Schedule bot is useful! Schedule bot is locked out! Schedule bot is locked out! I don't like this Daisy thing! It's cramping my style! And it keeps goofing up my hair! Much better, Booter Cup. That does look better, honey. <laughs> yeah, Booter Cup. <laughs> ah! I can't wait to watch that science film. <sighs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Do not forget to wash your hands, Booter Cup. <sighs> Do not forget to use soap, Booter Cup. Fine. Those are guest towels, Booter Cup. Uh, who cares? Much better, Booter Cup. Stop it! How would you like it if I messed up your hair, dude? If you saw my main server in the lab, you would see that I have no hair at all, Booter Cup. Hmm, lab, huh? I heard some commotion. Everybody all right? Did the monster do that? Nope. Those two don't need any help getting into trouble. Now, let's see. Oh, thanks, big guy. Like who knew I had a reset button? See, Dad? Titanic Twist destroyed your exhibit. That means he's probably coming after you next. Kids, I'm not gonna let a little giant monster scare me off. We just don't want to see you get hurt, Dad. I can take care of myself. Okay, gang, it's time to split up and look for clues. Again, only this time we're going undercover. Do I even want to know? Ooh, the female wrestler's dressing room. How great is this? I wish I had a camera. I wish I had a mask. Here you go. <sighs> wow, Mr. Bocifa sure has a big office. There's bound to be some clues in here somewhere. Speaking of bound clues, the scientist. Good work, guys. Let's wake him up. No, no, no! Get me out of here! Great! Now we're clueless! Find anything? Nothing my size. Hey! What are you two doing in here? You aren't lady wrestlers! Uh, sure we are. I'm, um, uh, I'm Bookworm. And this is... Fashion sense! The last thing we need is competition from two girly girls. But there's an easy way to see if your story checks out. Uh, um, can we try another move, please? You're stretching my outfit. <gasps> Daphne, the new spring fashions are here. Where? <gasps> so I grab under here and throw! <gasps> Hey, it works. What do you call that move? A flying dinkly. Okay, guys, look around for anything suspicious. Like I think that's Daphne and Velma wrestling. You're right. And I can't believe Velma knows the Ozark Mountain pile driver. Hey, it's Titanic Twist. Good thing it's just on the monitor, eh, Scoob? <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> that way, Freddy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yikes! No need to panic, guys. Okay, now you can panic. Freddy, you're a wrestler. Like, do something. My moves only work on opponents with an arm on each side, not against creepy contorted creatures. Well, it's a good thing we're dressed as janitors because things are about to get messy. So what, you just sit on your butt all day listening to lame music? What's your problem, Squirt? Got no taste? The name's not Squirt, it's Buttercup. Buttercup? That's a cow's name. For your information, Edith, it's the name of a superhero because that's what I am. Check this out. So you got the power to ruin my breakfast? When I was young, we had real superheroes. They didn't need no fancy, weird toaster eyes. They had smarts and style. You kids couldn't hold a candle to Green Wing. Who's Green Wing? You never heard of Green Wing? Sit down, Squirt. I'm gonna educate you on a real hero. Back in the day, Townsville was living in fear of the dangerous yet super fly delicious villain, the Machiderm. Mm-hmm. I told you them baddie daddy diamonds would be here, and you said the real treasure was friendship. Mm. Who is that? Oh, hey, baby! Green Wing. Wait a minute. Her name is Green Wing, and she can't even fly? Green Wang didn't need no superpowers. She has style, soul, and was super fly smart under all that fierce hair. Woman, it's Mac Attack time! Mac Attack! Yeah, yo. Now let's find out who this nasty boogaloo really is. ha -ha! My cranium! Say what? Famed 19th century chemist Louis Pasteur! We oui, very well, Greenwing. I shall tell you the secret code to my asteroid base. Oh, by Jove! You've done it again, Greenwing! It's time to boogie woogie, you groovalicious honky tonks! Six months later, we were all elected president of Ham Island. Hold up, how much of that story is actually true? Most of it, and I should know, I was there. For you see, Squirt. See what? I am Green Wang, the grooviest superhero of all time, baby! <laughs> okay, lady. How about we take a break from the storytelling, let's put on some nice music, and you can take a nap. How about this one? This guy looks beyond lame. You'll be bored to sleep in no time. No, not that one, cause that ain't just any record. That's where I trap my most dangerous enemy, the Blue Genie. Oh wow, the Blue Genie. Edith, how many other men do you have locked up in here? You don't believe anything I'm saying. Well, I'm gonna prove to you that I am Green Wang. This little freaky eye fool got the nerve to tell me who I am. I'm Green Wang. Why should we ignore an age-old tradition? Come on. Whoa! Look what I found! Is it going to make us say ew? We're rich! Sorry, it's only iron pie, right? Fool's gold, mate. Well, if any fools come through here, it's their lucky day. Yeah! <laughs> huh. So many choices. Which way do we go? I think it's time we split up. Well, I'm going with Melbourne. Me too. Me too. Me too. Crikey, that's not exactly splitting up. I'll go on my own. You ladies go with Fred. Shaggy and Scooby, you make a vigorous team. We'll meet back in the main tunnel. We'll just follow these little train tracks. And this must be how the miners got around. And look, moldy miner munchies. <laughs> well, a 75-year-old sandwich is better than none. Yep. This tunnel sure makes loud echoes. Like, tell me that's you, Scoob. Uh -oh. I don't think it's me either. <laughs> I know that's not me. Come on!
made it! Watch out! I don't know how to stop this thing! I ever made. Hey, relax, would ya? I remember last night like it was yesterday. We had a slumber party, ate a ton of candy, uh, ate more candy, then we... Hmm. Kidnapped an angry bull and put him in our kitchen? There's a bull in the kitchen! But he's not angry. He's making breakfast. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe Bubbles knows. Hmm. Where is Bubbles? 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 Hey, dude. Bubbles? Bubbles? Bubbles! I can't find her anywhere. We lost Bubbles! Okay, okay, let's not panic. We just have to retrace our steps. We had a slumber party and, um... Oh, yeah, I remember now. I was being my usual super cool self. Flashback! Whoa! Hey, Blossom, great party! Oh, thank you! I'll allow myself one piece of candy. Mmm, I see why they call it fun size. Hey, girls, don't stay up too late. Remember, we're going to Splash City Water Park in the morning. <laughs> we'll be the first kids in history to ride the Roctopus! Roctopus! Eight arms! Ain't loot! No mercy! Roctopus! Now, now, go easy on the candy girls. No! I mean, don't worry, Professor. We won't eat too much. We promise. All right, then. Be good, girls. Hit it! Huh? Oh. Nature's candy. Hmm. Well, that's a um healthy alternative. Candy. Here comes the flying hoonacaroon off the top ropes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's countered by Scooby's patented corkscrew counter crunch. Um, exactly how many more play-by-play -play Scooby snack attacks will we have to endure before WWE City? Like we brought everything we had. Scooby and I need to keep our energy up so we can cheer like crazy at the main event. There's so many boxes, I can't even see the luggage. Luggage? You, you didn't pack the luggage? No. <gasps> Of all the food-induced insane things you two have done, this absolutely takes the cake! Mmm, cake. I mean it! Like, what's the big deal? We all wear the same outfits every single day anyway. Yeah, you gotta admit it. He does have a point. Hmm. Hey, look! My WWE City next exit! Hold the phone! Looks like we're stuck. There's a car coming. Maybe they can help. Well now, this ain't a good place for a breakdown. Can we help you kids out? John Cena! Whoa! Okay. Looks like you kids ran into some trouble. This ain't safe, champ. We gotta keep moving. 
Calm down, Cookie. I'm just saying that it's dangerous out here at night, what with the bear trouble and all. That's why Reuben, my nephew here, and I have been following the superstars on their jobs. Hi. Well, these kids aren't going anywhere while their van is stuck. This shouldn't take long. Uh, what's he gonna do? Lift the van out of the ditch? WWE superstars were so hot. Strong. I mean strong. <gasps> There's one more thing in here, and this one will knock your socks off. But I might need a little help. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> oh, Lester, we could have made a magic together. Macho, you know you can't beat me. Mojo knows he can't, but they can! This feels anticlimactic. I'll take that, thank you. Honk! Huh? That pathetic monkey has a point. Sooner or later, you heroes will be a thorn in my side. It's better to just destroy you now. Ta-ta! <gasps> Stop! Huh? What? Happening. Why don't I have control over the Heartstones? <gasps> Wait a minute. Of course you don't. We do. Yeah, because we earned the Heartstones. So they belong to us. We beat the Cerberus. We solved the riddle of the jellyfish. I overcame my fear of being alone and I, I, I've beaten you before. I can do it again. I think it's time to show Lester some real magic. Keeping an eye on Lester Van Loser? Oh, yes. He'll go great on the shelf in my bathroom. Well, now that the town is restored, everything is back to normal. Or is it? Well, Mojo is nobody's partner. Mojo is... a leader! Honk! Let's fly! <laughs> you know, Scoob, we already got one mystery on our hands. We don't need two more. Let's skedaddle. And fast. <laughs> A talking dog? Bizarre. <laughs> like those dudes are like a bad toaster. They pop up when you least expect it. Well, I'll be. You're the two that vanquished the ghost bear. <laughs> Scared, excited, same time, brain confused. <laughs> Skinny man and dead meat, right? Like, yeah, but you can call us Shaggy and Scooby. In fact, you can call us anything you like. But please don't call us to our final rest, Mr. Undertaker Phenom Dead Man, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the bell tolls only for the demon. And you can just call me Taker. You learn anything about that creature, you let me know. It's coming, it's coming, it's cool. 
Looks like you've got another fan besides me. <laughs> we have no idea why a demon driver or anyone would want to stop the race. Maybe it's someone who's desperate to get the prize money. That would not be us, mi querida señorita. We are in it for the honor of the Matadors. Mwah. What is that interesting scent you assault my nostrils with? <laughs> Sulfur. Looks like I've got a mystery on my hands. <laughs> Hey, Triple H. Fred, Daphne. Do you know my wife, Stephanie? Just by reputation. Daughter of Mr. McMahon and a champion in the ring and the business world. Also known as the Billion Dollar Princess. Really? That's great. I like your friends, Hunter. And I love those classic Takamotos. Thanks. Fashion for the girl of action. Daddy bought them. A generous father. Looks like we have that in common, too. We're actually helping your dad on this demon case. What do you know about the demon? Only that he'd better not get on Hunter's bad side, if he knows what's good for him. Stephanie, I thought we decided you weren't going to compete because you had too much work to do. And I told you I can think up Muscle Moto X, plan it, and win it. No, Stephanie, you're doing too much, and that's not safe. You're out. But I'm Hunter's racing partner. It's Kobe, it's Kobe, it's Kobe! It's Kobe, it's Kobe! Like me! I'm sure I can find someone else. You can't be serious. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is now being served. No! No! <laughs> <laughs>